This video describes how to troubleshoot the board sensor on the Blade 2 saw. Always follow all posted safety instructions. Perform any lockout tagout procedures according to your company's guidelines and always review all documentation before operating any equipment. The board sensor, or load arm sensor, ensures that a board that is traveling on the auto deck is in the correct position to be loaded into the infeed rail by the load arms. When the sensor is set up correctly, it will function as shown in this brief clip. If the sensor is not set up correctly, boards may stop at the end of the auto deck before they reach the load arms. Or the final board in a job may be left sitting at the end of the auto deck. If boards are not consistently being loaded into the saw, complete the following maintenance tasks to address any potential board sensor issues. Step one, clean the sensor. Clean the window of the sensor with a soft, dry cloth. This will help ensure the sensor can send and receive a signal. Step two, check all cable connections to and from the sensor are secure. Step three, check the sensor positioning. The sensor should be positioned so that it can detect boards within a specific range. The following steps will help you correctly position the sensor. First, activate an e-stop. Then find an eight to 10 foot board and place it at the end of the auto deck closest to the infeed rail. Use a wrench to slightly loosen the two bolts, securing the sensor so that it can be adjusted. Position the board exactly at the start of the yellow guard at the end of the auto deck. If the sensor can see the board, it will display a solid green and yellow light. If the sensor signal is weak, the green light will quickly flash. If the sensor cannot detect anything, only the green light will display. Adjust the sensor so that the yellow and green lights are solid. You can also use a T-square or ruler to help align the sensor. If, with a board in the correct position, the yellow light on the sensor never displays, try adjusting the sensor gain. Use a flathead screwdriver to turn the potentiometer clockwise until the yellow light turns on. Do not continue to turn the potentiometer as this may result in false positives. Now move the board so that it is positioned just past the end of the auto deck chain. Carefully adjust the sensor so that the yellow and green lights are solid. If the sensor is positioned correctly, the yellow and green lights should be solid in both board positions. If both lights are not solid in each board position, repeat this process and be careful to make only small adjustments to the sensor positioning. Once the sensor is set up correctly, tighten the bolts to lock the sensor in place. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please contact MyTech Automation Support.